Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my working space at um, my flat where I'm currently working when I'm working an, at a desk. And I will afterwards take you to one of the nice cafes in Munich where I'm going to get to clear my head and get like new inspiration and show you what I'm drawing there. And then afterwards when we get home I will show you how I make my own deodorant um, which I have to do today because my old one is empty. Um, I will show you the book where I'm having all my recipes out and I hope that it's uh, fun for you and that you enjoy it. So yeah, let's go! So I thought I would show you the place where I'm working when I'm working from home. Um, although of course um, when I'm working with a laptop I can take it anywhere I want. So as you saw in one of my previous videos um, I often work on my balcony in the summer or even in front of the TV if I have to do something a little bit like boring or where you don't have to where you don't have to be really um, concentrated on full full a uh, hundred percent um, but I wanted to show you that it's um, in my opinion uh, Although I thought it would be not necessary to um, create a really huge working space in your living area to uh, work professionally. I thought maybe you might need more space and I was really relieved to see that it, for me I do not. Especially because I think you might keep your area more neat and clean if you don't have so much sp space which um, yeah, I like it like clean <laughs> um, and well not clean like it has to be um, it has to be clean every day but um, I like to watch like sorted areas with my eyes when I'm concentrating um, because I know there are people who need to have like a little bit of messy space around them to feel like creative um, yeah, but for me it's not. I, I really start to get confused in my head when there's too much stuff on the table. So as it is a really small space, I have to just yeah clean my stuff everywhere where it belongs after working. So I can start new in the morning. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just uh, give you a, a short peek into my working area and show you that it's not really necessary to build build extra like a whole working room if you want to start working professionally um, as an illustrator. So yeah, that was that. Thank you so much. you how um, the homemade deodorant um, made from the book The Glow is working. Today I'm using lavender, rosemary and orange essential oils um, for the summer. So first I have to um, put hot water on and um, 
the first thing to melt is the beeswax because it's taking the uh, the longest so i'm putting a little bit of the beeswax inside i'm not going to tell you all the measurements because i think um it's um it's a better idea to buy the book because <laughs> um i'm sure anita blechloch would mind me telling all her recipes um, on youtube so the first one was the beeswax and now there came uh, coconut oil um, as you can see, it's a really hot day, so the coconut oil is already um, quite uh, oily. Um, I just have to wait until it both melted down. And then I have um, a little bit of cold water in the sink, um, so I can put the, um, the bowl into the cold water, so the oils will cool down. And while cooling down, I'm adding the baking soda and... Ah, the, um, wait, let me look. I wrote it down how it's called. It's root, root powder, arrowroot powder um, is the powder I'm using for making it like thick. You could also use cornstarch um, if you would like. Um, so this takes just a little bit of time until it's all cooled, um, cooled down a little bit and doesn't separate itself during cooling. So you have to always swirl, swirl around it. Then you add the essential oils and you can choose whatever you like, what you, what you like smelling like. In, I normally choose like more earthy things in the summer like lavender and rosemary and in the winter I often use something like um, mandarin or lemon so if it has a like thick consistency a little bit like thick honey you can fill it with a spoon in your forms it's good to um, cook them out before or even um, um, well you can cook them in in a pot or you can just put hot water over them and uh, yeah like um, get all the bacteria that might be there away. Um, one of the recipes of the book is fitting in three small, um, small, small like um, cups that I'm using. Um, but you could also um, use one big if you like to. I'm using the small ones because I'm freezing the two of them that I'm not using. Um, so they are always fresh because I don't know if it would get bad if it's in the summer outside in a bigger container. So I'm using the small ones. And yeah, that's essentially it. Then you only have to wait until um, it's cooled up a little bit. And then you can just use the one um, you want to use right now and the rest you can freeze if you like and have it for later. So this was um, my last vlog before the holiday. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as my cat who loves the summertime so much. So I wish you a chilly summer break if you have one in front of you and I'm happy to see you back in September. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.